sir in the last videos we covered very clearly about assignment operator shift operators bitwise operators all the things we covered now the next valuable important concept what we have to discuss ternary operator sir do you know this one is the very very important for the integer room because most of the people don't know python contain ternary operator integer person may ask can you please explain ternary operator with an example in python maybe a chance that's why you people should aware about this ternary operator right sir why the word ternary okay observe here bitwise complement operator is there sir bitwise negation bitwise complement tilde a sir here a plus b is there a plus b is there this operator we are applying for how many arguments only one argument only one argument if the operator applicable for only one argument that operator is called unary operator are getting operator applicable for only one argument that operator is called unary operator if the operator applicable for two arguments two operands two arguments that is called a binary operator right binary binary operator so ternary operator means ternary ternary operator means can you please tell how many arguments are there how many operands are there sir three operands are there such a type of operator is called ternary operator in most of programming languages either c language or c++ or java sir how many ternary operators are there only one ternary operator which is also known as conditional operator are you getting so interchangeably conditional operator ternary operator both are the same sir sir the people who are coming from java background in java java or c language or c++ right what is the syntax right just uh, observe very carefully about this one sir suppose i have int a is equal to 10 int b is equal to 20 int a is equal to 10 int b is equal to 20 sir sir now int c is equal to int c is equal to sir a greater than b question mark 30 colon 40 sir have you observed this is the ternary operator syntax in in c language or c++ or java most of the time sir this is the syntax right sir here can you please observe how many operands are there sir this is the first operand conditional check it is true or false if this one is the true then this is the value it's going to consider if this one is a false this is the value it is going to consider sir so this is java specific ternary operator even c or c++ also same syntax right if you observe it's a it's a too much too much programming sir programming instruction question mark symbol colon symbol parenthesis all these things but in python sir this this type of syntax is not there sir very user friendly just like english statement we have sir the same let me convert into python have a look once sir what is the what is the here a a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 is there a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 sir c is equal to c is equal to 30 30 if if a greater than b else 40 30 if a greater than b else 40 sir have you observed this is the syntax of ternary operator this is called ternary operator right sir how many arguments are there this is first argument this is second argument this is third argument in the ternary how many arguments are there three arguments three operands are there that's why it is considered as a ternary operator right sir now observe what is the what is the syntax what is the what is the syntax right the syntax is sir some c is equal to first value first value first value if condition first value if condition if condition else else second value else second value like this right sir this is the this is the syntax of ternary operator present in python sir sir now if this condition is the true if the condition evaluates to true true then first value will be considered 
if this condition fails false then second value will be considered are you in the position to understand that if the condition is the true first value will be considered sir if the condition false second value will be considered this thing is nothing but what is the ternary operator right sir now as per our example can you please observe a is the 10 b is the 20 sir 30 if this condition satisfied if this condition fails sir 40 is the answer sir sir now a greater than b can you please tell this condition is true or false 10 greater than 20 false if it is the false second value will be considered now print of c sir what is the output by default we are going to get 40 like this right everyone in the position to understand what is the syntax of ternary operator in python just like reading english statement but the same syntax if you consider in c or c plus plus java have you observed sir condition question mark 30 colon 40 like such a type of sir programming kind of very specific terminology is not there just like english statement 30 if a greater than b else of 40 this type of thing is by default considered as yes, ternary operator conditional operator right sir let me execute this code have a look once observe observe a bit carefully about this one a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 sir a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 c is equal to 30 if a greater than b else else 40 i am taking print of c sir else 40 i am taking print of c sir very simple if this condition is the true then this value will be considered if this condition false then this value will be considered 10 greater than 20 it is the false that's why second value will be considered 40 so print of c means what output you are going to get sir 40 is the output we are going to get have a look once have a look once here let me execute this code sir if you consider this one what output by default we are going to get 40 itself is we are going to get sir up to this it's a very clear what is ternary operator what is the syntax for ternary operator sir can you please give an example a small chota example you should aware clear friends is it up to this sir up to this it's very clear what is the basic syntax and a very basic example of ternary operator right sir now let me go for another small example okay write a python program to read the two int values from the keyboard and the print the minimum value are you getting read the two int values from the keyboard and the print the minimum value okay just our requirement is read the two int values read the two int values from keyboard from from keyboard keyboard and the print and the print the min value min min value by using ternary operator this is about my requirement right if you want to find min value maybe ready-made function is available but you have to familiar with the how you can use uh, sir how you can use a uh, ternary operator right sir first thing if you want to read any value from the keyboard which function we require to use input function we have to use just a basic idea you should aware which function we require to use input function maybe after completing operators concept in the next uh, we will discuss in detail don't worry so here we require to use what input input function right but there is a small problem is there with the input function input function is always going to provide str only string type only but if you want to read the number compulsory we require to perform type casting to enter type remember this one sir a input function is always going to return which types are str if you want to convert into int compulsory int must be required okay like now here see this one a is equal to int of input of int of input of enter first number okay enter first number like this i took sir enter first number okay b is equal to int of input of int of input of enter second number enter second second number like i'm taking sir 
enter second number like so first number second number right sir now if if sir take very special care i want to find minimum value what is the minimum minimum value sir sir my point is if a is less than b then which is the minimum value please tell if a less than b what is the minimum value a is the minimum okay a if a is less than b okay if this condition fails then which one is the minimum value b is the minimum sir very simple i will ask a is less than b or not if this condition is satisfied a is the value if this condition fails b is the value sir is it a ternary operator or not a if a is less than b else b sir this type of thing is called ternary operator okay now min is equal to min is equal to a if a less than b a if a less than b sir else b sir that's all so this is the way how you can find a min value now print of the minimum value are getting the minimum minimum value is a sir min are getting minimum value is the min like this i'm taking sir simplest example to understand right let me execute this code have a look once sir can you please observe that okay a is equal to int of input of enter first number enter enter first number like this i'm taking sir enter first number like similarly b is equal to enter second number enter second second number like sir can you please tell what is the mean value is it is equal to a if a less than b else b is the answer print of the minimum value okay minimum value sir what is the minimum value sir mean like this i am taking a yeah, beautiful example to understand how you can print minimum of two given numbers sir which are going to uh, which are reading from the from the command prompt sir input sir now let me execute this code enter first number 10 sir 10 i am taking enter second number 20 20 perfect the minimum value is the 10 sir let me take uh, one more enter first number sir 200 i am taking enter second number 10 i am taking then what is the minimum value 10 sir sir enter first number minus 10 minus 10 enter second number minus 20 so minus 10 minus 20 which is the minimum number obviously minus 20 is the minimum number the minimum value is a minus 20 so it's a very clear for you people how you can use how you can use a ternary operator in the small application level any explanation is required clear for all of you right